Finally, democracy is coming to the Persian Gulf. Israel announced plans to deploy a joint missile defense system in the Persian Gulf as part of a joint effort with US and Israeli allied monarchies to deter Iran. The idea was announced at the official level by the head of the Israeli Missile Defense Organization, which is part of the Defense Ministry. Moshe Pater said that, in the future, Israel is ready to deploy its own systems and to synchronize them with comparable systems employed by the Gulf monarchies. From an engineering point of view, of course, there is a lot of advantage. That information can be shared, like sensors that can be deployed in both countries because we have the same enemies, Patel stated. The announced plan is a logical continuation of the recent diplomatic achievements of the Trump administration, which had finally forced several US regional partners to accept a formal normalization with Israel. For years, the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and others were silently cooperating with Israel in the security, intelligence, and military fields. Now, when the tensions between the Iranian axis of resistance and the US-Israeli-led bloc are on the rise, Washington has finally forced its allies to accept existing reality and even to expand the existing cooperation under the pretext of fighting the so-called Iranian threat. The coming months will likely lead to even more revelations of the reality of modern diplomatic and security policy in the Middle East, with the Israeli leadership taking the leading place in the policy of the Gulf monarchies. The inability, and in some cases unwillingness, of the current format of the US-led anti-Iranian alliance to achieve its main goal, to destroy the current political regime in Iran, under the Trump leadership, does not mean that these plans would cease when Mr. Trump leaves office. Instead, Tel Aviv is once again taking a leading role in their implementation. It is likely that the proactive position of Israel in the current conditions will be aimed at preventing the softening of US policy on the Iranian question under the incoming Democratic administration in the White House. Israel is interested in creating such conditions in the region that would leave no other option for the US but to continue the existing course towards further confrontation with Iran.